baby? We are right back in to the action and back on the Major League Baseball beat with my three best plays of the night. Let's get right into the action. We got no time to waste, damn it. We're going to start things off in Baltimore where the Blue Jays are in town. I'm going to take the over on eight and a half runs coming in at minus 122. So let's dig into this one a little bit. Each of these teams are raking versus right handed pitching. We have a right hander starting for each team here. Both come in the top 10 in OPS versus right handed pitching since the All Star break. Jose Brios on the mound here for the Blue Jays. And I got to tell you, as a Blue Jays fan, this guy's been a real disappointment here. He's getting absolutely obliterated on the road. He has an 858 ERA in his last nine road starts, five or more earned runs allowed on six different occasions. And seven of those nine games went on to reach double digits in combined runs scored. And check out the Blue Jays. Interesting pattern here. They've been pretty good offensively, at least, after a loss since firing Charlie Montoyo. After a loss, they have games of 8, 5, 5, 9, and 5. Run scored, so give me the over eight and a half in Baltimore. Next up, we are off to Boston, where the Braves are in town, and I'm going to take Atlanta minus 142 full game money line. And I see edges, edges, edges everywhere for Atlanta here. Better starting pitching, better hitting, better bullpen. Let's dig into it. Nick Pivetta is getting absolutely shit canned. An 8.69 ERA over his last six starts with a 2.03 WHIP. Kyle Wright on the mound for the Braves. They're on an absolute roll when he starts 10-2 and two in his last 12 starts. Now, he is coming off a bad performance. He tends to bounce back after a bad start. I invite you to dig into his game logs there. He's running into the Red Sox at the right time, 22nd in WRC Plus since the All-Star break. Atlanta coming in at 11th. And the Boston Bullpen has been a complete and total disgrace since the All-Star break. They have a 684 ERA that is last in Major League Baseball, what happened to the Red Sox? They just fell off of a cliff all of a sudden. Anyhow, we're going to wrap things up deep in the heart of Texas. It is the Battle of Texas Rangers versus Astros. I'm going to take the Rangers team total. It's set at two and a half. I'm on the under. Coming in at minus 122. So Justin Verlander on the man. Can we just give this guy the Cy Young Award right now? What a bounce back season for him. After a big injury there. So total set up two and a half here. Check this out. The opponent has scored two or fewer runs in seven straight Verlander starts. He's made 20 starts overall this season. The opponent has scored two or fewer in 15 of those 20. 75% according to my calculator. And he's been lights out almost every situation this season, especially versus the Texas Rangers. So he's thrown 13 innings against them, allowed just one earned run. Uh, with 16 strikeouts, so absolutely mowing them down. And he's backed up by a pretty good bullpen here. Stroh's bullpen has been lights out third in the ERA since the All-Star break with the second highest strikeout percentage, taking on a Rangers team that strikes out a lot. So there you have it, my three best bets of the night for Major League Baseball. Let me know what you think of them in the comment section right down there. Give this video a like. Make sure you are subscribing to this channel. God damn it. Good luck with your bets tonight, unless you are fading me. And as always, keep chasing that paper. Woo!